You know, milk me? Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Nato and today I'm back with another video. Today we are playing Adios. It's a game on Steam. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like, comment, subscribe. It'll mean the world to me. As always, thank you guys so much for being here. Let's hop right into it. Ooh, he's giving me telltale vibes. Except, can't see myself. Why is that all? Oh, who's that in the white van? Tell him I'm done. Done with what? What happened to me? Nah, this game is beast already, bro. Look at these graphics. Can't do this anymore. Oh shit, my fault. This. This what? Mornings? No. All of this. You mean the deal? Afraid so. What do you mean? You, you need better pay? Different hours? No. Well, like Two Face, Harvey Dent. You know, done with this. Done with what? Uh huh. Okay. You wanna. No. Suit yourself. I wanna. Oh, you, uh. You're done, huh? Yep. You do understand what that means, right? No. Does it have to mean anything? It doesn't work like that. You know that. Man, I must be getting forgetful of my old age. And hey, look at those pigs. Uh huh. Hey! Nothing I can do to change your mind. Well, you are welcome to try. Hmm. I'm a farmer? Let's go get some coffee. Talk things over. Come on. You guys are probably like... Why did the graphics look kind of bad at some point? It's because my PC is not high-end, but I also feel like it gives us a nice vibe. Mm-mm-mm. Smells delicious as always. Mashed potato? Oh, it's said he was the real cook. Hey, don't sell yourself short. Not much that's better than your home cooked eggs. Hope you don't mind. I left out the bell peppers this time. Mm, can't stand them. Me either. <laughs> Me neither. Hate bell Not peppers. Hate either. peppers in general. How long have we been it's doing this for, you think? Mm. Fifteen years, just about. Ah. <laughs> Summer of 78. Damn. Why we meet? What was it? I was old. Bill was sick. Who's Bill? And you couldn't afford a doctor. All right, don't rub salt in the wound. No, we could not. So you needed my help. Who are you? <sighs> you were gods. Well, here's what I remember. I had a problem that night, and... Jimmy was trying to help me solve that problem when who should come in through that door but you? Jimmy was always... What are we talking about? ...connections back home. I thought he could help. Uh, Jimmy knew we could help each other. So mm -hmm. he called up Tony. We agreed. Who are these people? We all agreed. Ugh. Anyone ever tell you you're no good at making coffee? That's fucking rude. Sadie did. All the time. All the time. Thought you'd have got it better by now. Well, Sadie made the coffee. I made the bacon. Uh, it's good bacon. You know, when I was a kid, I thought pigs were all pink with curly tails. Yorkshires are. Mine are red waddle. American breed. American Not breed. a lot of them out there, you know. That's so. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what the hell we're talking about, bro. That was different. I had some Yorkies way back. Must have been, I don't know, before the service. See, I'm getting like a Long safe time. vibe, yeah, but I feel like it's not a safe conversation. You know what I mean? Need both. So why the Waddles? Huh. Funny name. Like I said, American breed. American breed. Really went extinct. <laughs> Thought I'd do my part to keep them alive, and that tastes good. Why? You aren't wrong. You know, the other day I was reading the paper. Look at you. An intellectual. It, maybe. Maybe. Anyways, I read that pigs were as smart as us. You believe that? Mm, not particularly. No, I don't think Cows, so. I get. Cows are dumb. They're afraid of those, uh, uh, you know, those metal bars in the ground. Cattle grid. 
Cattle grids, huh? Yep. I don't even know if that was well, the right choice, dog. Is, cows are dumb. Pigs, I read, are smart. And you, uh, you read that in the paper. What I year is it? Mm-hmm. Get your paper on lawn. Pigs know. Know what? That they're food. Oh, pigs don't think like that. How do you know? Because I know pigs. pigs How do we know pigs? pigs? Well, sure, they're smart. They Buffy eat, break. they sleep, but they do not plan. They don't think about the future. And I suppose you do? Everybody Always think about the future. I think I'm just about finished up here. What do you say I, um... What do you say I accompany you today? Bro didn't even eat the food. What, help out with the farm chores? Shovel manure? You just told me I'm not good at cooking. I would have told you you're lying. I always wanted to know how to milk goats. Hey, yo. Okay with shoveling manure first. What about your sidekick? Protégé. When I retire, he'll be the man you'll be dealing with. Good guy. Smart. Discreet. Mm, Ambitious. Who are we talking about? I guess. But, uh, listen. I told you already. I'm quitting. We'll see. Hello? How is that? We'll see. We'll see what? What the hell is this? The hell is this? All right, bro. Relax. Yes. Is he chasing me? Well, I slender man. Approaching huh. scene. I've always wondered what was in this shack. Shit. I figured it was just some old shack at first, but every time I ask what was in there, you haven't been forthcoming. I have not, no. Tried to take a look in the window once. <laughs> Did you now? I'm about to enter some shit. Ta da. Beautiful, right? Bruh, it's a soda machine. Here I figured you had a deep dark secret. <laughs> we have a deep dark secret. This here is one of my hobbies. What, collecting them? Well, sure, I collect them, I guess, but that's not really the point. Yeah, I'm playing on low texture quality because my PC isn't that good. What I meant was that it's no fun to just collect them, I, I fix them up. That's where the real fun is. Mm, makes sense. Uh, you look like, uh, you look like you want to ask me something. Why pop machine? I like a good soda pop. Me too, dog. The jump from that to having a bunch of machines in a blacked out shed? I used to work at the town library after school. And uh, somebody thought it would be a good idea to put in a pop machine. 50, 51. 51? Anyway, Slurpo! I want a Slurpo. He was the librarian at the time. Knew I was handy, asked me to fix it. Uh, mm -hmm. You've been fixing pop machines. No way, bros. Well, not exactly. Rose after school hobby was drinking soda and fits in machines. The time I got back from overseas and uh, I was at this junkyard and I, I saw a Kruger Schmidt. How is that? In uh Who is that? A what? A Kruger Schmidt. Yeah, jumble the words I know, probably uh, French or something. Oh, it's just German. German. Yeah. German. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, it looked so dilapidated that I just had to take it home and, and fix it. Of course, you know how the wife is. She just about threw a hissy fit. But I but I brought her to this here shed and got to work. I feel like we're a good guy. Real nice, hmm? Then what? Had myself a nice pop. No! And then I sold it and figured that was all there was to it. Stop throwing the soda! There was an auction in town and someone was selling a pair of bendos. Well, I figured, hey, I could fix that too. And it snowballed from there. <laughs> That it did. But why? Is it gonna kill me? It relaxes me. I just, I don't know. Soda machines. It's an unusual thing for a man to want to fix. Don't people get paid to fix them? It is unusual, but when the missus and I would get into fights or when things was bad or I was. with that pose in that face, that body language. I don't know. Well, Sadie's sister, once she passed, told me that, uh, told me that it was alright to cry, that it wasn't weakness, that it was okay, and. I remember sitting there and that. I thought this was like a field. Room. Bro, what? Yeah, everyone. Yeah, it's like a dead face. How sorry they were. And I didn't feel like I needed to cry. Sorry for what? Of course I did. Still do. But I don't know. Not everybody needs to cry. 
I don't need to cry. I don't get in that way, you know? Weakness? No. I don't know what she was talking about, weakness. Crying never felt weak to me. That's just not how I am. Amen, brother. I can't remember the last time I cried. Maybe that movie about the boy and his dogs? Oh, I always cry over that one. Dogs are good. Innocent. Yeah, when a dog dies... I thought I should take one of these weapons. I'm a little scared, dog. But Josie insisted. Then she kept insisting. Then, psh, I don't know. I think she got offended I wouldn't cry as if she loved Slurp me. Slurpo. And she made me feel like I was, that I was something wrong. Of course, that wasn't true. There was nothing wrong with me. I just didn't, I, I didn't. Should I throw that his head? Like that. It wasn't what I needed. It wasn't how I needed to grieve. This. I'm following me with your eyes. This right here. When I got a problem, I fix it. And when I fix it, I fix a little part of me. And nah, I that was deep as fuck. Why, it's healing. It's a healing thing, and that's why a man's got to have a hobby. Sorry, guy. No. No, it's all right. I, I figured, you know. What the fuck? I figured if someone's got to know, this is my quiet little hobby. A thing I do to help me work out my Dude, worries. Dude, I thought this game was going to be like... Looks like you fixed this one up real nice. <laughs> I'm proud of it. Like, uh, proud of I don't know, like an action-adventure type beat? I'm proud of this one most. Bro, and it's making me, like, Here's sad. A, there's another reason I wanted to show this to you. Mm, what's that? If you want it, it's yours. <laughs> what am I going to do with a pop machine? Well, grab yourself a nice, refreshing drink of soda every so often, you big dummy. Big hey, dummy? Wait, I, 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 I couldn't possibly. Yeah. Please. A little memento of our time again. Oh, yeah, come on, Memento. Let's keep this train rolling. We can work something out. I don't think. Come on back by, pick up the sewing machine. Take it home with you. Or don't. If you really got no use for it, I won't be offended. I'll think it over. What's next? Bro, did I really skip all this shit? Alright, which way do I go that? How is it? I'm not gonna lie, I have the settings on low, but have it on the lowest hell no. But still, it should be good, bro. This is authentic. Authenticity is in part oh, this shit. Is this Sadie? I don't know, there's no words on. Is this shit? That's a route, dog. Alright, I that's I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I can run. I run, I'm running. I'm running, running, hand, running, running, hand. Oh, shit. <laughs> you saw how he was running? The hell is this? The horse! That's what they call me in the bedroom. Stop it. Get some help. What's that got to do with anything? Well, pigs, I get. Goats, too. And my little Oswald, horse. Chickens and cows. Name him Oswaldo. Yeah, shorty Cates. Horse. Horses are God's most beautiful creatures. He obviously hasn't seen me. What? You just keep a horse around because they're beautiful? Horses yeah. belong on farms. Uh huh. Uh, I thought he was judging you us. Saddle for him so you don't ride him. He's no racehorse. Can't eat him. What's the point? Well, I don't Not everything has a point. Without a horse. Who me? Gotta have a horse. Uh, and what's this about them being beautiful? Oh, where's your eyeball? Going? Beautiful, he says. Spindly legs and bloated bellies and those weird, weird teeth. I can hear you. Who sleeps standing up? Something wrong with that. At the horse. Mm -hmm. One day, one day maybe this fella will understand. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, to me, I mean. I keep apples here because he likes them. Likes the salt lick too. Want to feed him one? Uh, nah, I'm good. 
Dude, I've been feeding this horse mad apples. Yeah. All right, here you go, boy. And there's on it. Oh, no, I gotta get going. Why don't you walk on out to pasture rest a spell? Oof. Horses give me the willies. Can't see why. Horses give me the willies. No horseshoes. What the hell is that? Go this way. Hold on. Right, look how he runs after me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we got the horseshoes. Get out of my face! Why horseshoes? Why not? Why not horseshoes? Doesn't it feel stereotypical? Well, look around you. My nearest neighbor lives so oh, half a mile down the road. Oh, it's hella judgmental. What are you looking up at, God? Pool halls okay. Go hang out at. Pool halls? What is this, 1890? This is 1992, friend. We got shopping malls for teenagers, restaurants, clubs, whatever. Oh, where are you, Teeth? Pool halls? I don't even know if they had those when I was a kid. You kind of look like Jim Carrey. Well, time doesn't pass out here as quickly, I suppose. No need for all that, uh... Stimulation. Uh, yeah. So, you play horseshoes. Mm-hmm. Or read a good book? Develop photos you took for yourself? He's living the life. I don't know what that is. It sounds idyllic. Quaint, but idyllic. And you just want to give up this home-cooked paradise? Who said anything about that? That's lonely, too. We could get you a nice place in the city. Ah, never was one for crowds. Same. I thought you said you were lonely. I'd be just as lonely in a crowd. I was ass. Sadie, she, uh, nobody else could really see me, understand what I was. How do you figure? <sighs> Damn, I'm better. After Saigon, when I got back, all these people were hugging their loved ones or protesting or whatever. All right. I don't know. I never felt more alone in all my life. I was home. I should have been happy and... I wasn't. Well, it's Same, a brother. popular war. You lost friends too, right? Yeah. But uh, trying to win. Home. Yeah. Damn, that crazy. shit fell out. That's not fair. There was Sadie. Sadie. Waiting for me. Porch light like a halo around her head. And I knew I was. I'm trying to win. More. Hmm. So you came back to your high school sweetheart. Yeah. I, I thought I, I thought he'd have married her by then. I didn't think she'd wait for me. Why not? You're a handsome guy. Thank all you. All sorts wanted you, especially back then. Women love a man in uniform. I have a uniform too. It's you a hoodie and sweatpants. Uh, what the burned out one? I always wondered what happened there. Gary Gordon of the Gordon family went to high school with. Oh, how many of you got left? But. Uh, well, most of us were farm folk. Sadie, her dad, sure. I want to judge so far. Eat that. Pretty high yeah, city. baby. The Gordons owned a lot of land, and all that passed to Gary after his mom died. In high school, he'd been our quarterback after his pop paid off the school. Damn, paid off the school to be quarterback? Good looking guy. I would have paid off the school to pass. The real James Dean. And he had eyes for Sadie. The poor. Farm boy who couldn't play on the team. Dude, what do I look? I don't got no legs or a body. Shit, what kind of contest was that? Hey, who would uh, want all this? That's what I'm saying. Man, yet when I came home. There she was. <laughs> Where was Gary? He served too? Ah, oh, Gary was too rich to serve. Star quarterback had some health exemption. Didn't get drafted. Uh huh. Damn. Uh, so then, where was he? Running that Earth? Business. Trying to win her heart. Didn't work. Well, she invited him to the wedding. I didn't want him there. this facial structure on, bro. Uh-huh. Well, the Gordons own most of the property around here, including the 200 acres surrounding that hill. Right. What's in there? They built a house. A house? Wait. That house? The very same. Looks like it was a mansion. It was. Why'd he build it? Uh, I don't know. To remind her what she'd given up, maybe. So, what happened to the well? Yeah, what happened, dog? I, I want to find out. Well, he built it one year. Must have been 1966 or so, and he went inside, and he just disappeared. Is he dead? 
Then one night, about a year later, there was a storm and boom, no more Gary Gordon. Like he died? No more Gary Gordon. Like, huh? Hasn't deceased? Lonely too. Maybe. Yeah. All right, you win. That's what? right. Put a couple wieners on the drill and we get to working, baby. Move the manure. Oh, I can't wait to do that shit. I love doing that. There's nothing like moving some fresh shit in the morning. You could tell I was in the army with my athletic ability. Oh, bro, that shit didn't just open. I've been jumping over it every time. Show me the show me the doo doo. Show, show me the doo doo. Oh, let's look at the doo the shovel. I think you're stepping in shit. What's the wheelbarrow for? Haul, haul. Hauling. Hauling what? Hauling shit, baby. Manure. Huh. And what are we supposed to do with this crap? We are going to fertilize. Well, not now. I mean, you're stepping in there, bro. We're going to put it in a nice big pile where it belongs. Uh, we... Maybe if we stare? Say you wanted to help. So what are those yeah. wieners hanging from their face? Help. Pick up that shovel. Is that where hot dogs come from? Shovel it in, wheel it out, dump it. And and maybe if we stay long enough, we'll see them shit. Every day. Mm -hmm. Most, Most every day. day. I love his voice, though. Keep doing this. Every day. It's my routine. Shoveling shit. Someone's got to do it. And it's me, baby. That, uh, that isn't the first time you've told me that. Hmm. Right. I remember. Vietnam. Yeah. What? You know, I did some digging on you. Personally, not the shit kind. Know what I found? That I like to shovel shit? I reckon you'll tell me. You went back. Mm. What happened that day in the valley? You saw the report. I'm not going to talk about it. Come on. No. Suit yourself. But you got a medal. You didn't have to go back. What do you mean, stupid shit? The time where most of us were trying to figure out how to stay home. What do you mean, stupid all this shit, dog? Hmm. Think it'd be fun if you told me why? While we're shoveling shit? I was recall. You know that, I reckon. I was in the hospital, staring at the ceiling. Magazines next to me on the bed. How do I go? And I... I had this, uh... Moment. Oh. A moment of clarity. A revelation. Uh-huh. And the revelation was this. The hell am I... Protesters weren't doing a damn thing. The, the hippies and the, the bands weren't changing anything. You know who... I'm not bringing it inside, am I? Vietnamese? The Russians? Nah. The news. You hit Ooh. someone hard enough day in, day out with realities of war. Pretty soon they'll tire of it. That's right. Vietnam? That was our first time that close to war. No, I'm not even... Bro, this shit is on autopilot. I figured... Uh, you figured... You ain't the only one of us who's killed people. Why do you think I offered you that job back in 74? Turned it down for the same reason I went back. They were telling us our patriotic duty was to go and fight for our country. Well, that's what... There was no emotion in his face. Recon when you went back, though. Went back with a camera. Talked him in the... Let me help with the press, keeping them safe and all that. So I did. And I took pictures. Took all so the pictures of what, dog? I'm trying to stay in dark. Fought in a different way. Did you win? We pulled out a nap, didn't we? Mm-hmm. And now you're here. Great big warrior. Shuffling shit. All right, relax. Relax, brother. Shit. Time to milk the goats, baby! Ain't nothing like the good milking. Pause. Pause. Oh, 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 oh. I'm ready, baby. Show me the milk. The goat? There's only one goat? You know, back home they call you the pig farmer. That description is apt. And yet, you also have goats. I do also have goats. And a horse. And I had a dog. I tried cows once. Bill raised a neuter or something, but... Uh, <laughs> Our side. I died. 
Uh, most people have. I don't know, chickens and cows. You got goats. Always mad, judgmental. Relax, bro. About uh, judgment, I hear. Exactly. <laughs> no judgment, no. Uh, just wondering, why goats? Goat milk. Uh, <laughs> can't be much profit in that. Oh, well, there's enough. Besides, I had you. Have. You still have. As I've said, I'm no longer interested in that particular revenue. What do we do for work? We're the ones who sever ties. And you don't want us severing ties. I believe I made myself... That's true. Clear. You know, <laughs> I feel like we've had this conversation a couple of times now. And you still don't seem to get that I'm done with this line is just going to look really silly at the end of the day. What are you we... You were asking me about goats. Yeah, goats. I don't like them. They like to play. They'll eat just about anything. The milk's an acquired taste, but I've always... Dude, I don't... Cheese. Bro. Meat's good with the right curry. I love curry. My friend taught me that a while back. Curry is amazing, dog. I like them for the utility. I like them because they're playful. Want to get started? Hmm? Started? Milking. Hey, show. You don't milk me? <laughs> no way, bro's about to milk. Oh, hey, really? Oh. <laughs> I've always wanted to try that. Well, here's your chance. My goats are smart. They know what's up, so... They'll just walk up. Oh, he's oh he melting the goats. That's unfortunate. Hey, yo, I'm shooting him. <laughs> oh, no. gun down. Life over just like <laughs> I usually get to shoot back. Well, Shot him with milk. We up dead in the end, don't we? I'd rather live as long as possible. What good is that? Living? What good is living if you ain't happy? Mm, preach that, my fucking brother. I'm not. It could be. My goat milking I'm brother. Happy. Well, sunset. I'm out of here. Nope. I got milked. I'm going. Still uh, thinking about what I've been saying. I haven't stopped. Changed your mind? No. No, I have not. Damn! Right on target. Shot him in the mouth with the goat milk. Hit him with the meat, the maca, the maca, banga. The tree. Do you know what this is? A uh, tree. Well, it's a hefty tree, tree, very like girthy. A, a tree's a tree. It's not a tree. You ever seen a pine tree? Roasted chestnuts. Me either. Oh, sure, sure. I mean, I kind of figured. Been by often enough to see the chestnuts myself. Why? Is it special to you? This. Nuts. It's an American chestnut tree. So, oh, hey, so could have fooled me. He's telling us about his American chestnut tree. American, huh? Thought they all died. What? <laughs> you remembered. Pays to remember things. Like the American chestnut. Yeah, that's true. The American chestnut. People lost here? Oh, a couple weeks back, Saul came by and said you couldn't make it. Business as usual. Business as usual. So I had a bucket of chestnuts, asked if pigs could eat them, so we got to talking and I told him about chestnuts. Uh-huh. And what did you learn? Pork tastes better with chestnuts. And most American chestnuts had died off. Mm-hmm. It's true. Long before you or I was born, the American chestnut was prized for the quality of its wood. Jimmy Yo, Lord. just like me. That he would, that he would. But you want to see my wood? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. Kept. American chestnuts almost all died out because of the Asian fungus around 1900 or so. The chestnut blight. That's what, like a couple hundred thousand trees? It's, it's oh, terrible. Four billion trees snuffed out practically overnight. Well, lumberjacks suddenly out of work in places like West Virginia. Those economies never recovered. I uh, thought West Virginia was coal country. And logging, too, before it all died off. Now there's trees like the General here, making nuts yeast around. <laughs> the General, that's what he called. The Reds, and they grow nice and fat and tasty. Mm-hmm. Seems lonely. Well, it is lonely. Heartbreak, mainly lonely. I fucked that shit up. you ever loved has passed on. That's deep as fuck. I look after him and he looks after me and I don't know. Sadie and I we, we talked about being buried here, you know. Changed your mind? Mm -hmm. Brody's grave was enough for me. But uh I don't know. I feel like this demon's gonna take a very sad turn, and I don't think I'm ready. I don't uh I don't know. You've got plenty of years left in you yet. So, what's the moral of the story? With the, the trees, I mean. Be wary of outsiders. Heck no. 
There are trees out there that are blight resistant. Maybe even the general here, but light resistant. I don't want to find out. With enough time and horticultural understanding, we could have done something. Preserved all these trees? Mm -hmm. Maybe we could have. They are magnificent. It's just, it's just that. I don't know. You about to cry? I wasn't trying to teach you a lesson or anything. I just. But you did make a point of it. Uh, Sometimes it's not about the lesson. Sometimes it's about talking. It's a part of me is all. God willing to live for a hundred more years. I'm... I don't know. I see myself as a custodian of sorts. And one day I'm... I just... I really like this game. So I'll go ahead and wait for me at the van. Hmm? Hey. Hey. Look. Look at me. You're thinking about dying, thinking you could pass this responsibility off to someone else. You don't have to do this. Give the tree another decade of your time. Well, the time of my demise aside, someone ought to know about the tree. Jimmy'd love to know about this. I was Jimmy. Jimmy would cut it down. <laughs> he would. Please, don't tell him. Hey, I'm good at keeping secrets, but Jimmy's Jimmy. Please, let me rest here. Why do we want to die so bad? A way, a way to... Oh, I don't know. Okay, okay. Hey, you got more to show me, right? No. I'm not shit. I don't even know what's going on. The way. Are we leaving? The garage, huh? No tour would be complete without the garage. I have to ask, why a sports truck? I think they're called coupe utility, but... Uh, I don't know what the hell that means. No, I don't know shit about cars. I want to learn. Yeah. I mean, I always figured you'd have a midlife crisis like the rest of us. Sports car, motorcycle, an affair, something like that. Couldn't an affair? I love these so much. Saw mine one day, fell in love. With that. Hey, mm -hmm. watch your hey, mouth. Home with me. She has a name. Yeah, it's Roberta. But she won't run. Okay. Roberta don't run. Good. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at old Roberta. Sure. I already had my midlife crisis. How old are you? 40? <laughs> Motorcycle. Sports car. And these puppies, well, you know, they're similar enough. Some of them even use the same engine. We can figure this out. All right. Pop the hood from the... From the driver's side door. All right. Now, Oop. Let's see here. I don't know anything about cars. Can you get me that drop light? My eyes aren't what they were. Yeah, I can tell. Am I fucking stupid? Attach the drop light to the car. Bitch, where? Oh. Sure thing. Did it. I didn't even know. Thank you. Saul's a good kid. Hmm? What's that? Saul was a good kid. I like him. It was nice him coming by. Yeah? That's good to hear. Never met anyone with so much promise. Promise for what? Never? In my entire life. Saul's dad was a good man. Didn't think his kid had it. As a boy, he was too soft. Mm -hmm. But then he got older, graduated college. Really came into his own. Eager. More capable than he knows. Hmm. Great listener. <laughs> Can you believe we were his age once? <laughs> How long I known you? To admit. When I was young, I thought I knew everything. Yeah? Me too. And now? Today I learned from you and him. I am young. Nuts. Well, I learn something new every day, I suppose. You check the spark plugs? <laughs> Give me a second. Uh, what about your boy? Bill? Oh, he's fine, I guess. I guess. You guess? Yeah, how old is he again? 25. Mm, born in 60, so... I was uh, close. 32, as of September. Huh. Roy would have been about his age. How is Roy? Yeah. Wow. What's going on? Is so it... What's this about you and Bill? Is it oh, tea? He don't want to talk to me no more. What? Bill? 
Toe-headed little guy, always friendly and outgoing. That Bill? What do I do? It's about Sadie. Ah. Yeah. Hey, mind if I ask you a completely unrelated question? Mm -hmm. What's with the airplanes at your neighbor's place? Oh, Chuck's farm. Chuck? Huh. Yeah, well, what's with all the planes? There's no runway around here. Uh, you know how farmers are. Hey, have you checked the air filter? Yeah. And, yeah, I know how you are. You got plenty of junk, too, but... That's fucked up. Anyone else with, uh, uh, what are they, World War II bombers or something? I think he has a B-36. Hell is that? that? You got no idea what a B-36 is, have you? No. Nope. Yeah, have the foggiest. Well, a B-36 is a big old bomber made out of magnesium. Mm -hmm. Biggest America ever had. Mm -hmm. So they had me. Tankers to fill one up. And you could fly from Monday to Thursday without refueling. So why does Chuck have one in his backyard, plus all the others? I asked him about that once. Hmm. Okay. And what do you Where's say? He's loose here. Where? Right there. So, what do you say? Oh, uh, <laughs> dead navigator came to him in a dream. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Dead navigator from the Korean War came to him in a dream said the planes were in danger of being lost, and it was up to Chuck to save them. No so, way. Chuck's crazy. <laughs> well, eccentric, maybe, but, uh, yeah. Do you believe in ghosts? If I did, I'd have a different job. I'm Why, do you? Well, I figure we all move on in some way. Energy is neither created nor lost and all that. So you're saying a dead navigator came to a farmer in the middle of nowhere, no offense, and told him that it was his job to preserve airplanes? Yep. So now there's a bunch of planes on a crazy coot's farm. Man, you don't call him crazy because he lights planes. Can you think of a better place for him to be? Hmm. No. Want to try running it? Sure, dog. Nah. I trust you. Well, suit yourself. Where to next? Transition. Shoot him. Shotguns, huh? I always like shotguns. I don't. Blanked? Still do. More of I a... Like revolvers myself. When it's for sport. Got a few of those. Launcher? What the hell am I launching? Even big slab-sided ones. They have a... a charisma. I like sniper rifles. What's you? Oh, nothing special. And slurp juice. 357s when I can. But this is a shotgun. Yep. Figured we could shoot some skeet. Always like shooting skeet. I tried. <laughs> Top field to shoot this way. You're a good father. Thank you. Couldn't have been better. Okay. Name a father that couldn't. So, how do we do this? Uh, who's going first? I'm not hitting that shit. You can go first. Person to shoot me right here. All right then. Hey, that shit is long. He's more my speed. Hanging out, shooting guns. Maybe a few beers next time. I'm not sure guns and beers mix, friend. Oh, sure they do. Like peanut butter and very dangerous chocolate. Next time. Trust me, next time. I am not Maybe trusting. going to be a next time. Oh, there's always a next time. This is very ominous, dog. After today, we are done. Damn. I tried to tell you. I keep trying to tell you. There is no out. There is no done. You keep doing this. You can never do anything again. It's permanent. Kaput. Why? It's kaput. You don't mean it. If that's the way it's gotta be. You have a choice. And I made it. You haven't listened to a word I've said. I've been listening. I've been listening all morning. I've been listening to you talk about being sad and lonely and refusing to listen to reason. I have my reasons. I have reasons I have. Got it! Walk me to my car. Now there's a car. Just wanted to show you guys. I hit it though. Hit that shit like the trick shot, baby. The goodbye. So. This is it then. It's it, my boy. Why? Why are you doing this? My life is greater than this. We're friends, goddammit. You don't get to get all stoic on me. I know losing her was hard, but there's gotta be something. Gotta be. I can't 
take care of the farm like I used to. And there isn't much point anymore. So sell the farm. Are we in a mafia? Hey, Are we in the mob? Do you believe in hell? Huh? Do you believe in hell? I'm not scared of hell, if that's what you mean. That's not what I asked. I didn't ask if you were scared. I asked if you believe. Oh, look at me when I speak to you. I don't know. Go over here looking into distance. One eye on me, another eye on God. I think doing this. I think that's where I'm headed. And why? You think you can buy your way into heaven? I can't take back what I've done. What I can do is do something right. That's very stoic. I respect it. I want to see her again. That's all. I just want to see her again. And I figure I'll do one right thing with my life. Just one thing. Maybe I'll get to see her again. One more time. And this is your one right thing. It is. How do you know? How do you know if any of this is true? I don't. I don't know. But I got the notion, and the notion's got, got me. me. Mm -hmm. So, the least I can do is uh, tell you adios. Adios. Yeah. What else is there to say? Mm -hmm. Not much, I guess. No. All right, then. Have it your way. I'll be back this evening. You get an afternoon. I mean, he's gonna kill me? Do whatever you gotta do. Just, uh... Leave the door unlocked. I can do that. Adios, friendo. Be seeing ya. Be seeing you. I hope, in my content creator journey, or even in just my life, I make one really good friend that wasn't just my friend from proximity or because we were in school and shit together, you know what I mean? I mean, that's still proximity. But... It's the basement. My house. Look at my nice ass house. I think my ultimate goal, money wise, is to be able to get my mom a place where she could sit down and retire in and then just be able.